Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout New Vegas mini-series of Retribution, where today we are going to be continuing on with this Legion quest line of, well, assassination and retribution, as the name does say, and hopefully actually finishing up this mission that we kinda broke last time with Kill 'em All. <laughs> Oh, just my luck that after trying to run away to get a breather from the bullet spongy enemy that we were dealing with, that that then made him disappear. So this time around, we'll stay inside the cave so that doesn't happen. And I have a plan for dealing with them. The rest were pretty easy to take down. And they were mostly pretty easy to kill with just a couple of shots. It was just the one main guy who, if I'm remembering right, was yeah this Crixus guy here. And uh, yeah, he... He was much tougher and worrisome. So my plan, first and foremost, is I did wait a couple of hours outside the cave here before we go in and enter for the first time, technically. Uh, and hopefully that means some of them will be asleep so I can take out a few while they're lying in bed. We did notice that there were cots and such on the ground in there uh, last time around. So hopefully we can take out a few before they become an issue. And then, you know... My plan is to cripple Crixus's uh, limbs. I probably should have tried that last time, considering he, boy, kept hitting me with that big-ass sword of his. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Now, we also did find at the end of the last episode this lovely box of explosives here, which, um... Yeah. <laughs> Just in case, you never know. I'll probably end up killing myself with them, especially since this is not our last New Vegas character who was a specialist in explosives. But, um, you never know. Maybe we can use... I think one of them, yeah, there was two frag mines in there. So maybe we could use those to at least soften them up a bit, perhaps. We'll see. We'll see. But let's... Oh, God. Let's quick save and head on in. Oh, boy. Stay hidden. Stay hidden and enter the cave. Boy, I really do hope we finish it this time around. <laughs> I was so disappointed last time when, um, ah, oh man, they are not asleep. But yeah, I was so disappointed last time when we weren't able to finish this up and the guy disappeared. Oh, I was really hoping Crixus might be standing around. That dude, if I remember right, he took more than one shot. We do have the 50 cal. Nope, wrong one. Wrong one. Wrong one. There we go. This isn't silence, though, is it? <laughs> Part of my plan is also to hug the wall, uh, and hopefully maybe stay on, you know, hidden. Oh no, I do have a suppressor on this thing. Oh sweet, maybe we take him out with this one. And boom! Oh yeah, that got rid of his head real good. Okay, lovely. We're cautioned, we're cautioned. Go back here, go back here. Around the corner, nice and hidden. Nice and hidden. If we can pick them off one at a time. There? Oh, we're hidden again. Yeah. Oh, we're cautioned awesome. again. All right. What's three? Three is, yeah, sleepy time. Good, 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 good. All right. All right. Anybody Let's there? just give it a moment. Give it a moment. Hmm. We got Whatever. three enemies. I've got better things to huh. do. Just getting jumpy, I guess. Sounds like they're giving up. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, besides that dude dying, me. that 50 cal really didn't sound very suppressed, did it? <laughs> I mean, it's a 50 cal, and it's kind of a hard thing to suppress. Our, oh, God, there's a lot nothing. of them now. Anybody there? You know, I'd love to try and shoot through that gap, but I don't think that's going to pan out for us. Whatever. I've got better things to do. Yes, please, please give up and go back to doing other things. I've got better things to do. Huh, just getting jumpy, I guess. Yeah, yes, very jumpy. They're not going to give up, are they? <laughs> They're just... They're just still staying there, aren't they? I was hoping they would have given up a bit more quickly. Hmm. Hmm. Whatever. Hmm. Maybe I'm just jumpy. They keep saying they're jumpy and better things to do, but they're still they're still looking around. Nothing here after all. Well, you know, let me go. Wait, no, wrong one again. There we go. What was that? Let's take a peek. Oh boy. Well, we screwed up. Okay, okay. Sleepy time. Okay. Plan two here. Why isn't it changing? There we go. It finally changed. Let me change uh, weapons here. 
go down here and cheese them. Yeah, I really screwed up that shot, didn't I? I got bored of standing there. <laughs> and uh, then it all went to hell. Okay, take out his arm, take out his arm, take out his arm. All right, that did some good damage to him there. That did some pretty decent damage to him there. Yes, you, you, die, slave skirmisher. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to have to run around and cheese them now. <laughs> yeah, I had such wonderful plans of picking them off one by one, but they just never, they just never gave up. <laughs> Dang. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, no, 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 no. A focus on Crixus. Oh, 16%? Dang it, that is not enough. Whoop! Pardon me, coming through. I'm just going to drop some mines at my feet. <laughs> whoop! And whoop! Sweet! Okay, two! Two is back. Alright, that one's bad. down. That one's down. Run up here. Run up here. Okay, Crixus's arm is very much damaged, so let's now make him slow. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You die, hopefully. Oh, Crixus is coming up behind me. Need to immediately run. There we go. <laughs> Yes, cheesing works much better. Okay, okay. Again with his legs. Yeah, I, we really don't do a whole lot of damage to him, do we? Oh well, oh well. Hello you, can I, do I have enough vats points for you? I do, for one to the dome. Alright, that's that one down. Oh, nope, the slave skirmisher was not killed. Dang, dang, dang. All right, well, Crixus is super slow now, so <laughs> I can just easily run around him. Beautiful. That one's down. Magnificent. <laughs> the cheese plan has worked after everything else went wrong. Oh, of course everything else went wrong. God, only 64. I'm going to take out your legs more. Let's take out your other leg, too. Yeah, he's not losing any, any health. He only seems to lose health from his head. And even then, very minimal amounts. Oh boy. Alright, alright. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Thankfully, yes, with breaking his legs, he's super slow now. <laughs> Yay! And... Just one. I need to back up away from him more. There we go. There we go. Don't get too close to him. Beautiful. And... Oh, that was awful. That was awful. No, I messed that one up. Okay, okay. And... 59%? Come on! Alright, fine. I'll just shoot him myself. <laughs> Yay, we did it! The cheese method worked, and I really should have had my flashlight on that entire time. All right, well, time to go grab the things. Return to Sextus afterwards. Take some of these bits of armor, too, because they do amuse me. Yeah. That. Take that. On our own. I don't care about it. You know what? I still kind of... Yeah, I kind of want it. I'm going to be over-encumbered on our own, eh? All right, where are the other bodies? Those were the skinned men. Who else died down here? You, oh you, take those. Oh yeah, we got that person in there. We'll take that. Oh, I leveled up, sweet. All right, what do I want to put thy points into? Well, clearly there, to get that to 75, why would I have left it to 74? Huh. Uh, we could probably use, yeah, we could use some increased medical skills that would be good uh and you know what a little bit more repair magnificent all right where are the other bodies here we go does so i need to repair mine i like your armor so i'll take it and store it later <laughs> yeah i'm over encumbered crap <laughs> i should have known i should have known i saw it coming you know we have two submachine guns here that i don't need 
Well, sleepy time's also not very broken, but we'll get rid of one of them and drop the other. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh... Oh god, I forgot how we drop in this. That's R's repair, X is mod. There we go, we just... We just right click. Perfect. I forgot it's been so long. <laughs> hey, and we're now no longer over encumbered. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Well, let's go take care of this person. Wait. Wait. Are there any other heads that need exploding? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I saw that coming. Oh, you dang fool. Hmm. Oh, our Desperado cowboy hat still got broke. Ah, dang it. <laughs> yeah, I want all of it. I like the things. Especially you. Yeah, we can use some more strength. Actually, I forgot to check before we fought. Am I... Yeah, withdraw. <laughs> Well, that'll solve our problem. There we go. We're good. Magnificent. All right, let's go take care of this person. Still got to get get that cured right now. It's beneficial for us, though. Oh, uh, yep. You and you. And hi. I remember oh. you, Olivia. Please don't kill Yeah, yeah, we've been through this before. We've been through this. I'm so sorry, but... Yeah. Please too bad, Livia. I have orders that everyone dies. Hey. And everyone dies. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> We're awful. Oh, okay, well, let's go and report to Sextus. Magnificent. Oh, God. Oh, man. Still got a full episode to run with all that... All that armor. Maybe we stop by the tops real quick. <laughs> Crap. All right, we got that guy down, though, so that's good. We got him killed. So let us return back. Oh, yeah, that note. I forgot to read that. I hope my message reaches you, brother. Much has transpired. It seems our tactic of splitting up worked, for the Legion lost our trail. <laughs> no, not anymore, they haven't. Good thinking, I owe you a dandy boy apple. Unfortunately, the good news ends there. The NCR will not be of help after all. The taxation and regulations they demand for us in exchange for shelter would have been just another form of slavery. I will not let all our fallen comrades' lives go to waste just to put on another collar. Speaking of comrades, I have not heard from Viscera since the split. Mira says this is a blessing in disguise, stating the man has a death wish and will only drag us into more trouble. She is a foolish girl, though, and does not understand brotherhood. If you see him, give him my best regards and condolences. I wish I could tell you where we are or name a place we could meet, but Mira also advised it's not safe to share such information now. She has her moments, I must admit, for I cannot deny the wisdom in that. But do not worry, brother. We will meet again. Trust in the cause and never lose hope. Good always triumphs over evil in the end, Icarus. Ah, uh, so was Icarus's, Icarus's brother, I guess? Did we know that? Was that in the intel? I don't remember that being in here. Yeah, I just talked about, uh... I mean, the, you know, I took the brother part literally and it just dawned on me... It, brothers as in brothers in arms sort of a thing never mind also still needed fast travel why'd i close you <laughs> took me way too long to think about that all right cottonwood cove let's do this and then find who our next target will be and most importantly oh there goes my beer well vodka most importantly let's uh let's get paid <laughs> oh i gotta get you fixed dang it I like my hat. All right, well, we'll do whiskey this time. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. All right, well, let's go talk to Sextus. And then get our next target. Don't need you out, put that away. <laughs> you know, I also wonder after this successful hit if, uh, 
This jackbag is gonna be happier with us. Hi! Also, are you... You coming at me? I thought we talked last time. Okay, we're good. Hello, Nox Kadare. Still alive. Oh, same thing. <laughs> so hoping maybe he might have something more. Alright, Sextus, buddy, old pal, old friend. Pay me. You've returned. I have. So, I found and slew Crixus, but the other leaders weren't there. You know what? First, though, hey, more info on Sextus. What made you volunteer to hunt down the slaves? I was one of the few surviving Decanus at the Revolt of Bullhead. Ah. I had the most knowledge of the slaves who escaped, as well as the NCR and Turnglow who aided them. It made sense for me to lead the operation. Got it. So, okay. yeah, that and uh, Retribution, I guess. He said the name. <laughs> uh, did you witness the slave revolt? I mean, we literally just learned that he did, but click. In a way. I was stationed at Bullhead. Always have been. But I wasn't there during the fighting. Oh, okay. I wish I was. Perhaps I could have stopped it or at least saved some. It doesn't matter. I wasn't there. Man, I thought you just said you were. My Centurion at the time, Marcellus Varro, ordered myself and all his other Decanus outside the city to investigate a possible threat. Uh huh? We had not known that Varro was a turncloak coward yet, who walked us right into a rad scorpion nest. Oh. I was one of the only survivors. Okay, okay, got it. I returned to Bullhead already slaughtered and sacked. Turns out Varro ordered us out specifically to leave it under defended. Got it. I've seen many things in my time under the Legion, Amicus. But Bullhead will always stick with me. It all looked right, like all a right. storm from the Divide ran through it. Not men, not heroes. No one was safe from their butchery. Mm-hmm. Not even innocents. Not even fellow slaves like Ruth. R Ruth? Yeah, who's Ruth? Uh, just a sex slave. No, no, no one of importance, really. Oh, you had a thing for, for her, didn't but you? Yes. I was there at Bullhead. Okay. Hey! Speech 40. You have a personal grudge against the slaves, don't you? I mean, clearly. <laughs> I suppose I haven't been doing too great of a job at hiding it, have I? I mean, you really haven't. Have you been trying to hide yes. it? Yes. You're right. The task goes deeper than just an order from Kaiser. Mm hmm. You see, I've always been an angry man, Amicus. Especially in my youth. And even after when the Legion found me, I just felt like no matter what I did, nothing changed. Okay, okay. I began to doubt the Legion's mission of bringing order to the wasteland, that it was impossible. Then I was given apartments in Bullhead. A retinue of slaves deal with them. Amongst them was Ruth. Yeah. No, she wasn't a sex slave. She had about 40 years on me. Ah. She was just supposed to serve as a washerwoman. But completely of her own free will, she became more of an advisor. All right. She saw the anger in me. The hatred. And said, no matter how bad the world gets, there is no excuse to make it worse. You know, agree on that. She took great risk as saying that. Penalty for speaking out of turn would have been death. Pushed she knew that. Life just to set mine on track. And it worked. I did everything I could to make Bullhead prosper. Well, good for you. And I good for her. kept the border secure. Kept trade flowing. Made sure all under my command, slave and legionnaire alike, were clothed, fed, safe, and clean. Things were never great. But we did our best. Okay. Until the revolt came, I returned home to find Ruth and the rest of my household killed. And do you know how I know it was the other slaves that killed them? How? Because not only did Ruth and them lack weapons of their own, but they weren't struck down. They were executed. Not in the Legion way, of course. Not beheaded or crucified. No, that'd be too barbaric. Uh -huh. Instead, they skinned them alive. Oh. Those jackals who call themselves heroes skinned an old woman alive. Okay, so well, there's see, that anger. Amicus, this is why I volunteer for the task. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is why even if I wasn't in the Legion, I'd still spend every hour, second of my life, hunting them. Hunting these heroes down. Like I said, retribution, 
I guess. Ah, he said it again. <laughs> well, that was fun. I mean, unfortunate that one part, yet again, was sexist. He seems to, every time we've talked to him, I mean, twice, he's had one bit that wasn't voice acted for some reason. But I liked that. And so Ruth was more of like a motherly figure to him then. Interesting. An advisor and all, too. And we did find, he said that they uh, executed them by, you know, skinning them. We found those flayed people in the cave where Crixus was. I, I didn't really think much about it, considering it was a Castor cave and they had the uh, that one Night Stalker in there. I just kind of thought, maybe they hit the skin. But <laughs> that makes a lot more sense now. So that's very interesting. Oh, I liked that. That was good story. Hey, and what do you think of the NCR, though? Death to the dissolute. <laughs> that's what I'm supposed to say to the other Legionnaires. Oh. Uh, or else I may get crucified. Fair. But you're one of the few I can speak honestly with. Darn right. So I'll not pass up the opportunity. Oh, okay. What do I think of the NCR? I think they're an army of idealists. <laughs> they march around the wasteland, bright-eyed and smiling, preaching how they'll save us all. That the horror all around us is only temporary. That everything will be just like it was before the bombs. Freedom and democracy. All thanks to them. Mm-hmm. Just remember to pay your taxes, even if you don't know when you'll eat again. I mean... Try to find time to vote for our politicians as well, while a super mutant burns down your home and slaughters your family. Okay, but I remember something Caesar my collects taxes too. Said, which pretty much summarizes my thoughts on the NCR. There is no room in the new world order for the old world rules. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, except, I mean, Caesar's going, like, even older world rules, so, <laughs> I mean, it's not that different. And, yeah, Caesar still collects taxes, he still, he still has a government, and governments need money to do services and pay armies and such. So the only thing that they don't have that you complained about was the voting thing. And, yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's not really... <laughs> I don't think that's the argument you think it is there, Sexus. So, but what do you think of the Legion? What do I honestly think of the Legion, you mean? Uh-huh. Surely you're expecting more than the usual. Glory to the Kaiser, mm -hmm. right? Indeed. Well, in the way, we were disappointed. For I do believe the Legion is the greatest gift to bless this wasteland. <laughs> you see, Amicus, I was born to a small tribe east of the Colorado, to a name of no importance any longer. Got it. To say the least, I was just another surprise mouth to feed, as my father made it known, both verbally and physically. Right. So there I was for the first ten years of my life, my own people resenting me, and anything outside most likely wanting to kill me. It was hell, Amicus. I was so angry at everything. But I had nothing to put it towards, so I just sat and stewed like a disease. Okay. Thus the anger. But then the Legion came. And they made short work of men I've always hated, always feared. They took me in, gave me food, gave me training. But most of all, gave me direction. Right. Suddenly there was a point to all this struggle. I no longer felt angry, but determined. I have no misgivings about the Legion's brutality, Amicus. Well, okay, that's good. But the wasteland is just as brutal. I mean, you're not wrong there. I was taught that maybe, just maybe, if we fight and fight and fight, one day we'll be a little less brutal. My old instructor would always say, a man without a goal is not but a beast. Never lose sight of a goal, Sextus. <laughs> I think about those words a lot. I think about what I may be if the Legion never took me in. Probably wouldn't be at all. Okay. Yeah, he must have really respected his master. Got a lot of talk about with him. And what about with Mr. House? I don't think of Mr. House. Apologies. <laughs> no, I get you it. I don't have an opinion on every political entity in the Mojave. You know, fair. Fair, sexist. If Kaiser told me to kill him, I'd kill him. Beyond that, I don't really care. Okay. Well, I found it. Wait, well, that's all we got now. So, I found and slew uh, Crixus, but the other leaders weren't there. I found a note, though. Damn it! Ooh, that was loud for him. I'm sorry for the outburst. It's... It was expected that they'd be separated. 
what I had hoped. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. We still got one of them. Thanks to you. Here's your payment. Sweet. You've done well, Amicus. It's clear you're cut from a different cloth than most. Oh, yeah. Return to me if you could. I suspect I'll need someone like you to help me end this. Got it. And I'll happily reward you for your continued service. Yeah, I've also got some heads that need to be delivered. So, yeah, we got the ten. Yeah, we're getting paid in Legion money. Ugh. <laughs> so, our new, our new quest here is wherever I may roam, and we need to speak to him, which, I mean, we need to anyways, because I've got those heads. I need more pay. Yo, Sextus. You've returned. I have. And... Hey, yeah, uh, about the these heads that are in my bag? Wonderful. How many? You know, I, I have no idea. How many did we get? Uh, f five? We would probably have more than that. Here's your payment. Sweet. How much do we get paid per head? Uh, okay. Here's your payment. Thank you. Do we have any more? So we get one Legion Arius per. Here's your payment. So that's up to seven heads. Eight? Here's your payment. Do we have one more? Ooh. Here's your payment. There's nine. So we were one shy of ten. Dang. <laughs> Very well. One shy of ten. Uh, well. Let's get the new quest. Need any more help? Yes. You're just in time. Our explorers reported a new raider gang sprouting up along the 95 highway. Oh, no. We usually let raiders run free to harass the NCR. Got it. But Highway 95 is used by many caravans and messengers to reach Cottonwood Cove. Ah, okay. Our trade routes must remain secured. And we're short on men here at the cove right now. And Nox says he didn't come here for raiders. So I'll give you three auras if you can take care of those degenerates. Will do. Ah, uh, but, uh, yeah, just, what does this have to do with the escaped slaves? I'm placing our hunt for them on hold until we secure the border. Ah, got it. If the Legion cannot protect those it is sworn to, then the Legion has failed. You know, true. Now go. I'm sure you'll make short work of them. Oh, we certainly will. But next time... <laughs> I just love that far away. <laughs> Find and kill the raiders who are far away. Got it. Where exactly are they going to be? Why is it... Why is it sending us all the way over there? <laughs> Alright, so next episode, if we go to, like, the wrecked highway men, probably. Or Novak, yeah, we'll go to Novak and then double back towards the Highway 95 uh, Vipers Encampment. Nifty. Yeah, that should work out for us. Oh, plus, off camera, I need to stop by the tops and drop off all this armor that I'm lugging around. <laughs> but, oh, man, I really like the conversation we had with Sextus. We got a lot of good info and lore out of him that I was very pleased by. Uh, the the uh, voice acting was still quite low in volume, and I'll have to raise that up. Except for that one part we got super enraged. That was way louder than normal for him. So, uh, which makes sense. He was pissed. But, yeah, overall, though, that was a very fun conversation. I very much did enjoy that. Got a lot of great lore, some good info about Sextus here. And, uh, yeah, just overall, fun times. Well, that is going to be it for this episode today off cam. Like I said, I'll stop at the tops, get rid of my armor that we picked up. I'll probably also go buy some more ammo. And hopefully I'll remember to actually go get rid of this uh, addiction that I have. We'll, we'll see. Uh, for now, though wine yeah <laughs> but until that time thank you for watching my friends and as always we'll have a good one